Hey, Sneak Peekers, I'm Molly. We're here at South by Southwest 2024 on the carpet of Bob Trevino Likes It. Let's check it out. What are we doing? Yeah, we're a student publication at the University of Texas. Oh, that's cute! Yeah, could you throw up a hook on to the camera? Hell yeah! Yeah, see, he, was, he said he's a USC Trojan. He wouldn't. He wouldn't oh my it. goodness! I know. Listen, I have no. I, 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 sports, whatever. You know, whatever you tell me, I will help you out. Okay, perfect. That's like my mom. She's always like, say Cruzeiro. Yeah, like, Cruzeiro, Brazilian soccer. I'm like, sure. It's all, you know yeah. what? I'm the same way. Yeah. So, first of all, thank you so much for speaking with us. Of We're course. so excited to be here. Um, what drew you to this film initially? Thank well, you. when I read the script, I was blown away. I, like, cried, I laughed, I did. All, all forms of emotions in that spectrum, right? And it's it's actually really rare for me to find a script that really connects and is so honest. It's because it's based off Tracy's life, and I could really feel that. Even in the writing, I didn't even really know the whole context of it. And then we started meeting, talking, and it just felt so right. And it felt like we had a lot of overlap about our um, lives and how we perceive the world. And so it was really cool to collab with her and yeah. bring this character to life. Yeah, you kind of touch on, like, it's based on a true story. So when you're preparing for a role that is based on a real person or a true story, how does that differ from when you're preparing for a fictional story? That's a good question. I think with a fictional role, even with a person that you know it's based off of, I did, I did want to kind of, I wanted to create a character that was very similar to Tracy, but not a carbon copy, right? Because we're so different. We're different people. So it was bringing those experiences and merging us both. So I mean, if I was playing like, you know, someone in a, in like a biopic or something, maybe I'd be a little different, get the accent down, get everything. But for Tracy, it was more like um, us just collaborating on, you know, what feels right and what feels, um, you know, to, uh, what Lily would be, how she would react to that. Yeah. And then um, my last question is, this film touches on the importance of chosen family. Who is your chosen family and what do they mean to you? I have so much chosen family. I have my best friends, Ben Evans, Omar Ahmed, Chloe Vero, so many people. They've been like my friends for so long and all my friends are, you know, really sweet and supportive and they've been in my life like 10 plus years, so they're my chosen family. Well, that's so special. Thank you for sharing. We're so excited to meet you. Thank you. And congratulations. We're so excited to Thank see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Bye. I'm a, I'm a, I went to UT. Oh, you yeah, did? Yeah. That's so exciting. So then that actually ties into my first question, which is what does it mean to you that the film is premiering at Southwest? Oh, my God. It means so much. You know, I, I, I started here. The, I used to direct music videos. I'd get the band to pay for it or direct short, short films. And uh, so to come back home, you know, with my first feature, it took a little while, you know, but I, to come back home with my first feature, my friends and family are here. I love Austin. I love South by Southwest. So I, when I found out we got in, I had a lot of happy tears. I'm so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you so much. As you know, student filmmakers ourselves, what would you recommend to us or to any other student filmmakers in getting to this step? Um, I think I, I think it took it took me a little longer to get you know to really figure it out because I think I wasn't really using my own voice originally. I was thinking like, what do people want me to say or what you know? And I, the more I got to know myself, the more I was speaking my own voice. There were other people like me that needed to hear you know the needed representation you know and needed to be heard. And so I think that and I think don't wait for permission. No one will ever give it to you. So yeah. make your stuff you know even if it's like you know one location, one actor, whatever it is, just do whatever you can with what you have and then you'll just grow it and grow it and grow it and you'll wake up one day and you'll have a feature. Yeah, I mean that's really important to know, so thank you. And then my last question, because I know it's really hectic, um, when telling a true story or a movie based on a true story, how do you choose what events to dramatize or what to keep exactly how they happen? Um, so this is inspired by a true story. So I, what I did is I, 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 paid, I thought about it. I paid really close attention to everything I felt in this process, everything the friendship had meant to me, everything that every way my dad made me feel. Or such, a lot of the biological dad stuff is like I literally wrote it. What happened? But but um, with the friendship, I just took the love and the heart, and, and I said, how can I best honor that, even if I'm you know having to create a, a scene that didn't exist, you know? So just just like tap. I think it's more in important to tap into the feelings. And the messages, you know, yes. but um, and I, I feel like we did convey what it meant to me, so, uh, so that feels good. Well, that's so exciting. I'm so excited to see it, and congratulations. Thank you, and hook them. Thank you. First of all, if you could just throw a hook them into the camera. <laughs> there we go. There Thank we you go. so much. There we go. So my first question is just, what drew you to this film? You know, I think uh, I was very excited to tell a story, uh, a positive story about social media. You know, social media is such a, could be such a cesspool and such a, a, a nightmare. And so the fact that uh, this was such an uplifting, positive take on a social media connection just instantly drew me to it. So, yeah. yeah. 
And then my second question, I know you were earlier asked about chosen families, but who do you consider to be your chosen family and what do they mean to you? You know, I think the, this cast and crew for sure feels like a chosen family to me, but I also am very fortunate to have, you know, a really good group of um, you know, friends that I've accumulated over the years that really do feel as close as family to me, you yeah. know, which is really beautiful. And I think that's what this film is trying to do, is trying to show that even if you're born into one family, you know, they might be great, they might be, you might need to set boundaries, right? You might need to figure out where you land in this biological family, but you can have a chosen family and it can be just as rewarding. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, we're really excited to see you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right. Have a good one. Thank, thank you so, you so much. much. Yeah. Right. So, first of all, because we're with the University of Texas. Do you guys want to throw up a hook on to the camera right here? I'm a USC Trojan, but I'll give you a perfunctory oh. hook. Up. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I'm going hordes down. Oh. Oh. Okay, you won't, you won't get a fight on for me. Sorry, we can agree to this. I'm not going to get a fight on? No. All right. It's all right. We stay I'll in the I'll take it. Here. So first of all, what drew you to this film? Um, you know, uh, Tracy was, uh, she's in a writer's group with my wife Vanessa, and I saw it develop, and I would come in during COVID, and I would uh, uh, read parts just so that they could hear it out loud. So I saw it develop. Yeah. And so when she offered me the part, it was just this weird, like, wonderful surprise. And I'm not, like, the type of person who usually gets to play a part like this. Like, normally they're going to want me to do a children's movie or a sitcom or something like that. And uh, she just cast me against type and fought for me to be in it. And so I felt a big responsibility for that. And uh, I, I love the movie. I love it. Well, congratulations. We're excited to see it. Thank you. Um, obviously, this film touches on the importance of chosen family. And I can see that family itself is very important to you. Um, is there a group of people that you consider your chosen family? And yes. if so, what do they mean to you? There's, they're all they're all here with me. I, I, I just turned uh, 60 February 20th, and everybody decided to take this moment to come out and celebrate my birthday with me. So all my closest friends are here, and there's like 15 or 20 of them. So they're they're going to be raucous and they're going to cause issues. And uh, but I love them, and uh, so I, I'm very fortunate that way. My my actual family, we're very small, but we're very tight. And uh, I get support from my daughter, I get support from my wife, and my friends are just, uh, I I'm very lucky. That's very, very special. Thank you for sharing that. My and my question. last question, when you're preparing for a role that's based on a true story, how does that differ from when you're preparing for a fiction story? Yeah, I mean, you know, I always, if, if it's a, a real person, then I try and kind of honor at least the spirit of who they are. So that I'm not mimicking a person, but I'm getting across the idea of it. Uh, if it's just fictional, then I just, I kind of just do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about, I don't worry about anybody's mother or their brother Pat. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Great to meet you all. It's really nice to meet thank you. Thank you. Is this film touches on the importance of chosen families. So who do you consider to be in your chosen family and what do they mean to you? Wow, I love that question. Um, first, I will say that I am very fortunate that my biological family um, is extraordinary. I have four sisters and two brothers and a mom and dad that are no longer with us, but they were extraordinary people. But at the same time, I would say that I have girlfriends that are chosen family um, because of the depth of our relationship, um, shared history, uh, shared struggles, you know. Um, I actually formed a group once called MOPS, Mothers of Performers, because all of us were um, closely tied to the arts and uh, entertainment industry, and our children were as well. And so we are particularly supportive of each other because uh, we have similar journeys. Yes. Yes. Well, it's beautiful. Thank yeah. you so much for that. And then my second question, and my last question actually, is what do you hope audiences take away from your character specifically? So many things, but the primary thing primary thing is the ability that we have in each other to love each other well. And so when there's a woundedness in our soul and there's somebody that's really damaged us at a deep level, I really believe that we can love each other. That's what John's character does so beautifully in this film. We can love each other and heal to some degree the wounds of our souls and become more whole, which is really exciting. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a perfect answer. Thank you, and congratulations on the film. Thank you, and excited. Have a good so one. Excited. Thank Appreciate you. It. If you like that, make sure to like and subscribe, and check out our other South by Southwest content over here, and stay tuned for the upcoming week of film and TV events here in Austin.